Hey guys, it's me, Game Changer RV, and today we'll be exploring my squad right now in FIFA 21. So guys, this is my team. As you may know, I have broken my wrist and I haven't, I haven't been managing to play as much recently. So this is my team for now and I haven't been playing for quite a long time. Not because of my wrist, but for other things as well, just because I got bored of the game. As you know, the game may be ending because there's not really much in terms of teams because everyone's got insane players right now and there's not really much to grind for as you may know so this is my team right now starting from hugo loris he's been an ever present in goal he's had so many games for my club this one's untradeable i've played like with about with one with the loris i've played like probably over 500 games because the other one was tradable and then we've got a kunde here he's actually pretty good i haven't really played many games with him as you may know but he's quite good because he's really fast and he's got great defending ability and um, we've got Sambia. Yes, guys, I am playing a right back at centre back. But he's very good. Look at that. 92 pace. And then he's got okay defending and physical. But he can really catch up with those fast players. And many other centre backs can't do the same. And we've got Zambrotta here, who I did do the SBC. Um, I did his SBC. And he's played 132 games. Scored two goals because of his five star weak foot, which is very helpful. And yeah, he's a great card as well. But he is quite expensive, as you may know. How much is he? Around 800-700k. So he is a little bit expensive, but he's still very good. And then we've recently managed to pick up this Jordi Alba card. He does look okay, because he's got really good pace. But his defending and physical is okay. Could be improved a little as well. We've had Darwin Marquis for a long time. And if you guys want to see my player review on him, check it out. It's got my clips of his goals, the assists, the marvellous stats that he's had. He's been amazing in Division 1, so... 99 agility, 99 balance, so good. And you can tell by the stats because when I was playing him up front, he was getting insane stats, but that's the wing because I'd have many other strikers, if that makes sense. And then we move on to this side with our flashback Ronaldo, who's played so many good games, so many good goals, so many good assists. 431 games, and in most of those games, he's had a huge impact in all of them. He's so good. I cannot stress to you guys how good this card is because you guys may be thinking, oh, but he's literally got so bad shooting and passing and composure you feel that sometimes but after a while you get used to it so he's not that bad and then we've got i'll purposely leave andre till the end you'll see why in a minute and we've got it's a disgrace mr didier drogba here who i recently got from my icon moments pack from icon swaps which is pretty nice he's played 13 matches scored 18 goals some of them have been in squad battles because i have been playing that with my chin on the left joystick guys try and imagine that my chin moving the left joystick and then me pressing the buttons with my right hand so it's been very hard but i have been doing the portugal ucl ones at the same time it's been very eventful so he's been doing all right he's pretty good i want to try him out a bit more because i only had one day of playing rivals with him and we've got Thierry Henry, who's been insanely good for my team. 292 games, 262 goals, and 195 assists. You may say that his balance is similar to Drogba, and like he's quite clunky, but he really isn't. Once he gets going, he's gone, and you cannot catch him because of his body type as well. And then we've got the one and only Red Messi up front, which is just insane. I really don't know how I managed to pack him. I was very lucky. And I've been playing him at Cam. I'll show you the in-game formation in just a moment. But 687 games, 459 goals, and 19 assists is just... It's just off this planet. It really is. So I'll get into the in-game formation right now for you guys. This is what I've been playing for most of the year. So if we go to Custom Tactics. And we go Defensive. And then we can go here. So that's what I play most of the time in game with Sambi at centre back, and then Marquise, Ronaldo, Andre, uh, and then we have Drogba on the left and Henri on the right. So that's what I play in game, as you may guys you want to see. And then we've got the one and only, the best card in the whole world, the best CDM in the whole world, better than Kante by far, rule breakers. Benjamin Andre so he's played 344 games for my club he hasn't scored a goal because he's on stay back while attacking but he has got 36 assists which is very good high high work rate you may say he's a bit slow but he feels rapid on the pitch he really does that could be due to his 5 foot 11 height but he's so fast and since he's a rule breakers he's got insane dribbling that's why he feels fast as well because he has so good agility and balance composure is good dribbling is amazing as well and his defending and physical stats are so good. 
This card is my favourite CDM ever. I've tried Kante. I've tried all the versions of Kante that have been out there. Never have I ever seen a card like this. No wonder I've kept him since then. He's played through over 300 games and even with Ndombele and all the other French cards that have come out, French centre mids, it's always been him that I'm never feeling like replacing him because he's like so good. And then if we move on to our bench, I did pack Dusan Tadic yesterday from the ESL, not ESL, no one likes the European Super League, the CSL or the Eredivisie team of the season guaranteed. I'm really pleased with that because I only traded in an 82 rated squad to get this marvellous Dusan Tadic card and I can imagine he'll be okay. And then we've got De Vry here, two star, four star, medium high work rate, really strong. And But he's similar to Ruben Diaz who is quite easy to get around now if you have fast players like Neymar or Mbappe. This Mason Mount card has been so good for me. 29 games, 29 goals and 19 assists. I've used him up front as you may be able to see because I did, I put him where Messi is and moved Messi back here. So that was working out really well. And then we've got Yori who's played quite a few games for my club. He's played actually 248, scored one goal. I remember that vividly, it was from a corner and got six assists. He was okay, but now as you may know, we've got Jordi Alba here. And then, oh my God, the best player on my team by far, Andre has to come second only to this man, Mitchell Van Bergen. This guy is magic, five, five star weak foot. He's come off the bench in 209 games, scored 82 of them and assisted 53. This guy is something special, he really is. And he's free, which is like mind blowing. He saved me so many games, won me so many games. It's just, it just doesn't make sense, is that good? So he's definitely the best player on my squad. And I think if you haven't done him already, you have to do him. He's like a weapon off the bench. Then we've got Joao Felix, who's done so well for my club. He's been in and out many times, but he's been an ever present because he's so consistent within my team. 378 games, 258 goals and 204 assists. He's so good because of the agility and balance. And he's just so hard to mark if you're a defender and so hard to defend against. And the one and only Waman. Waman has played 98 games, scored 24 and assisted 18. You might think that's pretty bad stats, but he's involved heavily in the build-up play, which I'm really pleased about. Because as long as he's helping somewhere, then he's going to help the whole team. And then we've got Tadebo, who played a lot of games for me. 369 games with a few stars to Tadebo. And he was very good, but now I suppose he won't be anymore. Yilmaz, I encourage you guys to complete this. I've been playing a bit of squad battles with him. You should complete this card because he's an 87 rated player who's okay. The 58 balance may be not so usable. But 87 rated card for an 81 rated squad. And yeah, that's my squad guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe. And make sure to turn on the notifications so you never ever miss a video on my channel.